like the coolest part of camp. Just being accepted by everyone here, like you can have whatever views you want, you can say what you want to say, and people are just going to be like, I still love you, I love you for who you are, and I just, there's no other place like that in the world. I just can't explain how God's worked. It's just, it's in every part of my life. Like, there isn't a way that he hasn't worked at Kivu. Yeah, look at I've never man. felt God the way I have this year. It's just, like, comforting to know that, like, if you trust in him, he'll always, like, lead you in the right path. And if you don't have to worry about, like, going the wrong direction if you trust. During one of the Bible studies, Emily was telling us about just God delights in who we are now. And it's not who you're going to be or who you're working to be and that God is just always happy that you're you and he's always happy with you, he always loves you and that's been really comforting. We had this night where we just sang songs like at Too Deep. It like made me realize I need to slow down and focus on things of the eternal instead of just things on this earth that are going to fade away. To be honest, it's not any of the activities. What I really love about camp are the people. It's like genuine relationships where I want to know what certain people are doing and thinking and feeling and how their life has changed since camp and um, and they want to know about me. But I don't think that happens in most places. The way that you find your passion is by getting out of your comfort zone. I want to bring Kivu outside of Kivu. Don't lose heart because there's something bigger, there's something greater, and there's something more that you're looking for. Um, and this life is fleeting, but God is eternal. And that's something to look forward to. If you continue to love, you're just going to change the world. Don't, don't you wait.